Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best light meter for photography in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best light meter for photography, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality best light meter for photography according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Sekonic L308X Flashmate. The Sekonic L308X is small enough to fit in a pocket and runs off an easily replaced AA battery rather than a bunt cells. It meters both reflected light over a 40-degree angle, incident light, and flash, and offers a digital readout in multiple modes that also offers SIN metering. It's more versatile and powerful than others on this list, but perhaps less useful for metering novices. It's annoying that you have to turn the meter to see the display after you've taken a reading. And while it will give you direct aperture and shutter speed settings on the display, it doesn't display aperture and shutter speed combinations in the same way as a physical dial. The L308X is a great practical tool, but not such a good learning tool. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Gossen Digisix 2. Weighing just 40, the Digisix 2 is small enough to fit in a shirt your trouser pocket, or hang around your neck via a small strap loop in the base. It offers reflected light readings over a 25-degree angle and incident readings via sliding translucent dome. It displays a digital readout as an EV, which you then have to transfer to an external dial which then indicates matching shutter speed and aperture values. What's great about the Gossen Digisix 2, apart from its size, is its speed and simplicity. The exposure readout is visible on the top as you point the meter towards your subject or the camera and a single click of the measurement button captures a reading which is stored and displayed right up until you click the button to take another, giving you plenty of time to transfer your settings to the camera. The diffuser slides over the metering cell with a flick of your thumb, making incident readings as simple as regular reflected readings. The Digisix 2 doesn't do flash metering, but there is a Digiflash 2 version which does. The number 3 position is held by Sekonic L208 TwinMate. Where the Digisix 2 uses multi-mode digital readout, the Sekonic L208 TwinMate is an analog device that indicates the light level with a swinging needle. You turn a dial to light up an index marker with the needle position, then read off shutter speed and aperture combinations off the same dial. It's a similar manual transfer principle to the Digisix, but with a strong retro look which is more practical than it looks, the position of the needle may look more approximate than a digital readout, but its position on the scale gives a much more immediate sense of how much light there is in the scene. You don't get that just from numbers on a display. Next at number 4, we have Sekonic L858 D Speedmaster. This high-end meter offers reflected spot metering, incident metering for both 3D and flat subjects via a retracting slash rotating lumosphere, SIN and SIN HD modes, and extensive support for flash with the ability to measure flash duration, flash VS ambient ratios, and wireless flash triggering, plus high-speed sync support and flash duration measurement. Launched in 2016, the Sekonic L858D was touted as the most advanced light meter ever. The key thing to understand about the L858D is that it's two specialized meters in one. It offers spot-reflected readings via an eyepiece on the side and ambient readings via the rotating lumosphere on the top which can also be retracted slash extended to suit different lighting characteristics. This is not, however, a meter for the faint-hearted. Instead, it's a high-powered professional meter for photographers and cinematographers who know exactly what they're doing and just need the right tool to do it with. The number 5 position is held by Lumu Power 2. The Lumu Power 2 is a bit different. It connects to an Apple iPhone via its lightning connector to transform it into a versatile and accurate light meter. It works with the Lumu Light Meter app to enable you to measure flash or ambient exposure and color temperature. You can even specify aspects such as your camera's shutter speed and sensitivity range along with the lens maximum aperture, so you'll always get applicable readings. It's also helpful for long exposure photography as it allows you to add a collection of ND filters and assess their impact on shutter speed. The only reason it's not a little bit further up our list is because it's not especially cheap. 
It might look like a hipster novelty for smartphone users, but it is in fact a powerful professional tool which harnesses the full power of the iPhone's processor and display to challenge the features of professional meters. The problem is, the price does too, with further in-app purchases to unlock all the features, even after you bought the Lumu. The number 6 position is dominated by Gossin Dijiski. The Gossin Dijiski is a compact, multi-function exposure meters with an impressive features. The device supports up to four flash groups over eight radio frequencies, and three groups of still camera settings may be defined at a time. In addition to a single preset for video settings, the retractable diffuser head enables incident and reflective light to be measured, while a flash sync socket at the unit's base means it can be connected to external lighting sources. The body is constructed from matte finished plastic with a glossy front fascia. The build resembles that of a budget compact camera. A little disappointing considering the cost, there's less to complain about with handling. Though, the M butt used for taking readings is large and presses firmly into the body, and it's positioned so that the thumb naturally falls onto it when handled. The Digiski does what it sets out to do very well, and its color LCD is both pleasing to use and brings with it a practical benefit. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Dr. MeterLex 1330B Digital Illuminates. When it comes to saving money on a light meter, you can't go wrong with the Dr. MeterLex 1330B Digital Illuminance Slash Light Meter. Zero, 200,000 Lux Lux Meter. The meter has four ranges to choose from. Zero slash 200 slash 2000 slash 20,000 slash 200,000 Lux. And because of its high accuracy response, you can easily and quickly measure the lighting of your scene. You'll also enjoy a one-year warranty with the Dr. Meter Lex 1330B light meter. People using this light meter even claim it is can be used for much more than filmmaking or photo shoots. Take for example John who used it for growing lettuce. By measuring the lighting, he was able to mitigate tip burn while gardening lettuce. Dr. C claims the light meter is a must-have for electricians since electrical codes mandate that buildings have certain amounts of illumination in certain areas. The number 8 position is held by Reed Instruments SD1128 SD Series Light Meter. The Reed Instruments SD1128 SD Series Light Meter, Dentalogger, 100,000 lux 10,000 foot candles, FC, W slash temperature features, a real-time data logger. This makes it simple to store your prior readings. It also includes a sensor cover. In regard to its user-selectable sampling rates, you'll enjoy them from 1 to 3,600 seconds. And thanks to the light meter's SD card feature, you can select a sampling rate and use it to generate an Excel file with your readings with no need to use any special software. If you're needing to use the light meter for long-term monitoring, you can always pair it with the optional tripod and an AC adapter. Next at number 9 we have Lumu Power Light and Color Meter for Photo and Video. You're going to love the modern design of the Lumu Power Light and Color Meter for Photo and Video. Even better is that this tool turns your current iOS device into a light meter. You can do everything from measuring flash exposure to color temperature and much more. To use your current iOS as a light meter with this tool, you'll need to download the app to your iOS device, connect the Lumu Power Light and color meter for photo and video, and you're ready to go with the Lumu Power Light and then color meter for photo and video's ambient exposure feature. You can rest easy knowing you're going to get a perfect exposure each and every time. With the flash exposure feature, there's no more guessing about which settings to use. When using the color control feature, your whites are going to white, white colors are going to be vibrant in each and every shot. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Kenko KFM 2200 SIN and flash meter. The Kenko KFM 2200 SIN and flash meter has an end cord mode feature, meaning it can flash without having to use a syncing cord. This is for incident light only. With the ambi mode, you can do ambient light. The most notable benefit of this meter is that you can use it for both flash and spot metering without having to switch back and forth between two different units. Thanks to the exposure navigation system on the Kenko KFM 200 SIN and flash meter, you can easily read information that makes it simple to determine the exact settings you should use for proper exposure. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.